Hi, Mark Donovan here from Falcon Imagery, and today I'm going to go over a navigation plotter and how it's used in cross-country flight planning. In particular, I'm going to show you how to uh, basically plot the course with the plotter um, between a departing airport and a destination airport, determining the distance between the two points, and also determining the true course heading, again, using this navigation plotter. If you have any questions or comments uh, for the video, just leave them below. All right, the first thing we want to do is place our plotter um, along the course that we will plan to fly. Um, we're going to fly between Laconia Airport here and Auburn Lewiston Airport up here. So I'm going to put my plotter in between the two points. I'm going to take a pencil and draw a very thick line so it's very legible to see, uh, particularly in the air when you're flying. So what we really want to be able to use this for is pilotage and dead reckoning. Next, we want to measure the distance between the two airports. Uh, using the plotter. I mean, what we want to really be careful about when we use the plotter is make sure we're on the sectional side in measuring in nautical miles because that's the way the uh, chart we have here is a sectional chart and it's measuring nautical miles. So make sure you're in the right ruler scale. If you turn this over, um, you would see statue miles here. Um, you also see some references to the world area chart. Um, you might also see uh, the terminal area chart uh, ruling ruler scales so you want to make sure you're using the proper scale, ruler scale, uh, for the chart that you're measuring. In this case, we're measuring a sectional chart. We want it in nautical miles. So once we've done that, we'll place the uh, plotter down across the line. We'll put the start point of the ruler on the center of the airport, and we'll measure to the center of the airport um, up on this end at our destination. And if we look at that, it reads 55, 56, 57 nautical miles between Laconia Airport and Auburn Lewiston in this straight plotted uh, course line. Now we want to determine the true heading between the two airports. And to do that, we're going to use the protractor uh, side of the na navigation plotter. And we're going to pay attention to this little grommet hole here. And what we're going to do is take the straight edge line associated with the protractor side and line it up along the course uh, that we've driven, drawn on the sectional chart. Then we're going to slide the plotter until the grommet is lined up right over one of the longitudinal lines that runs true, to, true north, um, such that that line intersects the grommet and intersects our course that we've just marked. And once we've done that, we can then determine our true heading that we're flying. Well, this vertical line is true north, so that's zero degrees. And so we're going to basically measure this angle difference. If we look here, we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, you see 60. We're slightly less than that, so about 59. So our, our true course heading is 59 degrees uh, for this flight. There'll be sometimes when we plot a course that it doesn't cross longitudinal lines, but it does cross a latitude line. So in this particular type of situation, when you mark your course, mark it another inch or two beyond the length of the distance between the two airports. This will help out when you go to use the protractor again to determine the actual true course heading. So again, similar to what we did before, what we're going to do is take our grommet and line it up at the intersection of the course, in this case, a latitude line. So we take the inside edge of our ruler, line it up on the latitude line, slide it to the course, to the grommets over the course where it intersects the latitude line. And then we look at the angle that we've got here. So remember, uh, latitude lines run east to west, 90 degrees to 270. And in this particular case, um, looking north, this is 360, we have about a 15 degree angle difference between true north and the course heading that we've plotted. So 15 degrees, uh, subtract that from 360, we have a heading of 345 if we're heading in a northwest direction, and the reciprocal would be 165 if we're heading in a southeast direction. So that's how you use a navigation plotter. Hopefully you found the video useful, and if you did, consider the like button and subscribing to the channel so you get notified on my next video.